thousands of years, humans have existed next to a world of unimaginable horror. Though rarely encountered, the line between these worlds is not impermeable. If a human walks too close to the edge, there is a chance that they will pass to the other side. Well, there's an introduction for you if there ever was one. <laughs> Anyways, hey y'all, Boogie Knight here, how's it going? And welcome to Sonic Boogie Plays Concluse. This is a first-person indie horror game that is free to play on Steam right now, so if you like what you see, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, this game's only been out for a couple of weeks now, according to the Steam page, um, developed by uh, Studio Snowspot and T. Allen Studios. Um, I was actually found out about this because I was trolling uh, the big three that is... Game Jolt, Itch.io, and IndieDB, and couldn't really find anything that looked promising to close out my Indie Showcase, which I've been doing for quite a while, and then went on to Steam just to see if there was anything that sparked interest, and this actually came up. So, very curious to see you know, what it's all about. It's gotten really good reviews, so let's figure this would be a nice one-off. But with that being said, let's dive right in, shall we? This is Concluse. Three years ago, my wife, Carolyn, disappeared without a trace. I followed every lead, but they all led to dead ends. After searching for years and coming up empty-handed, I gave up and thought I had moved on. Unfortunately, that couldn't have been further from the truth. Caroline, could you really be here? Living in a place Whoa. like this? After three years of searching for your missing wife, Carolyn, you received an anonymous tip. The caller said your wife was alive and well and living in a town in New England called Hell. Okay. You thought it was a joke at first, but after some research, you found the town does exist. Now, as you're about to arrive, you wonder if this could really be true. Could Carolyn really be here? Well, I know there's a town in the Grand Caymans called Hell, so I would not be surprised if there's something similar. There's Rob Carolyn. I like the detail, particularly compared to, um... Sorry, compared to the detail of the main character. But then again, maybe that ties into this... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to keep, keep uh, getting cut or cutting off the announcers. I like the intro so far. Okay, so was use, um, okay, well, I'm not, I'm using a mouse and keyboard because I wasn't aware you could use a controller for this. I missed half the controls anyways, but we'll figure it as we go. Um, okay. Oh, this is going to be one of those games where there's like one second delay between, um, we can't crouch. Can we open this? What? Whoa. That's not creepy at all. Achievement Unlocked Caretaker. There's an elderly woman sleeping in the subway car. You try to get her attention, but she doesn't react. Maybe it's best just to leave her alone. Okay. What is this? We got a crow... Is this a crowbar? And apparently we cannot pick it. There we go. Plain red crowbar. You could use this to open one of the subway doors. Okay. Pick up the crowbar. Um... Okay, so we got inventory. Um, controls. Let me look at that one more time. Okay, enter to accept. There we go. Sorry. So, go to inventory. Crowbar. Yes. Door won't move. There's no... There's nowhere to wedge the... Okay. Maybe we do it to open this one, then. Ugh. Anyway, so as I was saying, this... The controls are... Okay. Which door are we trying to open then? Are we gonna go back the way we came? 
Oh wait, hang on, that's because there's another thing over there. Whereas here, maybe that's where we need to do it. Nope, not at all. Okay, let's just get back the way we came then. The door is partially open, but it won't budge. You wish the crow between the doors and push as hard as you can. Nice. Okay, now that we're off the train, I can uh, maybe have a bit of a uh, exposition dump. I like the minimalistic graphics. They... Can't read that. They remind me distinctly of a Unity version of a Kristoff game. And actually, when I pulled this up in my library, not... What the hell was this? Oh, it's a save game. Okay, cool. Sewers Caleb. I have no idea what that is, but let's go and just save that. So the diamonds, I guess, this are... Is the final stop. Please exit the train. Thank you. Okay, that voice is just creepy as hell. Um... Welcome to Silent Hill 4, The Room. I'll, so I was trying not to look at the reviews, but a lot of people were comparing this to a Silent Hill... Um, homage, or tribute... I guess we're going to go downtown again. Up one set of stairs, down to the other. What? No, never mind. That's the way I came. Herp derp, you twit. No, that is, that isn't the way I came. Another... I guess we got to get another subway car? Huh, okay. I thought we could just get off one of these things. Oh, yes we can. I got to get used to the fact that using E um, is the acceptance and opening a door is not just to cheat by walking into it. Door lock needs a key. Hooray. But the atmosphere already has me a little bit on edge. They have sold me on that. A boy peers strangely into the distance as a man's face contorts behind him. It's unclear what this is an ad for. And this is why I don't smoke cigarettes. Let's just keep it vague. Okay, so since we're now prop hunting, let's look at these benches. And maybe we do have to go down to the other set of stairs. I feel like starting on a subway is a little bit like an overused trope. But you never know. This game could improve. I saw it on CJU and Gab's inventory, actually. Um, as I was getting ready to fire it up. So if they played it, or are playing it, it, it can't be bad at all. This is the final stop. Please exit the train. Oh, there's something glittering in the distance. Can yes, we can! Oh, okay, cool. That's just a trash can. Come on. There we go. Amidst the discarded pieces of trash, you find a key. Why an employee key is here next to a refuse container is anybody's guess. What? Whoa. Oh, cutscene. What? What's going on? What? Um... I... Was that somebody wearing a dunce cap and holding a balloon? I think I saw something like that in the introduction. Is that our antagonist for this game? Mr. Dunce Cap? Sorry, I'm being really critical right now. I apologize. It's only the first few minutes of the game. Just trying to make sense of it. Oh, so we don't even have to pull up our inventory. We can just action it and go to town. Brilliant. What is this? A quarter? Okay. So my ex-boss would say a quarter. This thick Boston accent. Uh, Boogie Knight, I need you to pick up this quarter of a million dollars. I'm a jerk, I know. Janitor's note, one of one. I've done all I can to keep anyone from entering this area, not like I've seen a soul anyway. Beware, if you're someone reading this that has plans to enter Cordova, stop. It's really hard to read this, it's quite blurry. Something bad is happening there, take my advice, get back on the subway and leave. I have to warn you about something else. If you see a woman with long black hair in this subway station, don't talk to her. If you must go to Cordova, the keys are in my locker, but make sure you lock Lock? Yeah, lock up. Lock up everything behind you. This place is dangerous. It will rot your mind. So, one of one. Okay. I can... Go for the locker. 
There's some corrosive chemicals and rags inside, but not much. And I find the janitor's keys. So to Cordova, Cordova I go, apparently. Is there anything else that we can do? That we can pick up? Well, we're not going pixel hunting. That's good. So I'm guessing we use these to uh, get past the chain. I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. I love that song. But yeah, atmosphere is pretty solid so far. This sense of loneliness and solitude, very reminiscent of Kristoff, which I can definitely get past. The turnstiles have the turnstile has been chained and locked. We use the janitor's keys and the chains and lock fall to the ground. Okay. Um. Poster for a missing girl. Someone has drawn black X's over her eyes with a black marker. Well, that's not cool at all. Uh, well, we do have quarters. Can we make a phone call? Can we have a chat with somebody? Call home, mom, or Carolyn. Well, Carolyn's been missing. Um. You know what? I'm gonna hedge my bet since this is technically a horror game. Let's give Carolyn and see if she'll pick up. We have one quarter left. I sh we should have called mom or home, but I, but I was kind of curious. I mean, I know what curiosity did at the cat, but oh lord, seeing all these, picked these posters on the wall reminds me of the beginning of I Make Saints. But I don't think anything could be as grisly as that game. Yeah, I'm, overall, I'm liking this game so far with the atmosphere, and I do like how it's got this minimalistic attitude, but, you know, I'm fond of that. I kind of feel like it's almost like a horror version of, like, it's mine, Minecraft using a horror mod. And I guess we're on a, the waterfront somewhere. We got another save point. You stare out on the small dock watching the water ch chum churn. Churn quietly below it. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Hang on, what's this? Oh, we got another quarter. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and save. All these... I try not to be... Okay, apparently my name's Michael. I try... I'm trying not to be a serial save. What do we got here? A lit cigarette. Someone was here recently. The smell is somehow familiar. Well, I haven't smoked in a long time, so I have no idea. Maybe... Unless it was a clove, in which case, yeah. I'll, I'll burn one with you. A sticker on the binocular says, out of service. There is a quarter wedge in the quarter slot. You try to pull out the wedge quarter, but can't get enough leverage. Do we still have the, um... We still have the crowbar. Come on. Let's just... Okay, well, that's not gonna work, so... Hey, what about over here? Can we use this? I mean, it's... I didn't... You want to use a quarter. But we have a cutscene. Ugh. I... Actually, let's see how many quarters I have left. I only have one quarter left. Bollocks! Uh, what's in this through these trees here? What is this? A pair of pliers. And a strange black substance. Can we examine the uh, substance? Guess not. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice little jump. Um, can we maybe use the pliers to wedge this out? Use the pliers to yank at the quarter. Brilliant. Okay. Can we steal this bike? Go screaming into the night, maybe? This frame is bent. Okay, now let's go ahead and call Mom. Let's see what she has to say. Hello? Hey, it's me. Who? Huh? Michael. Mom, don't you remember my voice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. The phone is just low. I'm surprised you called. I haven't heard from you in a while. I know. I'm sorry about that. Just been busy. That's okay. What have you been up to? Anything new? Not much. I'm in New England right now. Anywhere I might know? A town called Cordova. It's supposed to be a great vacation town. Never heard of it. Make sure you take some pictures for me. I have to get going, but I'll call you tomorrow. Promise? Yup, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you too, dear. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
wow, that voice was a little too much like Bill and Ted, but yeah. very Nabra California style. What is this? It's another key? Small key on the ground. I've heard that sound before on the subway. Inspect the trash, but nothing but a, nothing but a beheaded rat. Let's just go ahead and give this the white berth. Dark figures can be seen under the water on a nearby shore. What the hell? I'm not sure heard behind the door. You try to open it, but it's being held shut. So we're just going to go ahead and break in. Oh, that's lovely. Torn up newspapers, dressed in a greasy brand substance. I feel like the game is instructing us to go back o over to the dock. We've already looked out on the water once. But. Can we inspect the boats? If you had oars, you could take it somewhere. Yeah, I can see why this is definitely paying homage to Silent Hill. Just in the overall atmosphere. Yeah. Can we look at this again? No, we can't. I feel like that static, though, is going to be a trigger point for something. Like, if we run into any enemies or sorts, like, we have another cutscene. What? Um. Something. What in the world? What was that? Did something just hit the deck? The trees seem to be covered in a smelly brown paste. Such an awful stench. Now let's just go and just get covered with the junk. I'm trying to see if there's anything of substance within the substance. I don't know. There's that static again. Is that a body or a mannequin? From the man's wounds, it appears he was dead before he hit the ground. The dead man was wearing a hospital security card. I wonder if the static is supposed to mean like we're looking for something in particular. Let's go back and look at the trash can one more time. Nothing but okay. So I, we're done with all this. Anyway, so this will be my last uh, indie showcase for a spell because I am gonna. I do want to get back into playing Echo and. You find yourself in a claustrophobic cobbled street. A hospital looms in the distance. So I want to get back into playing Echo, and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about my one-off of A Wolf Among Us, so I'm thinking several medical armbands inside. All women's names. It's trying to sound a lot like the blacklist. Um, so I'll need to find a key. Anyway, um, I want to get back... I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about A Wolf Among Us, so I might turn that into a few episodes... So how do you find a black wig and a bloody pair of underwear? Wah! Okay. Whoa. Where am I? Got a key and a quarter there. Um, this might be plot triggers, so let's just look at everything beforehand. Alley note one of one, death at 2.30. <laughs> Does that make it a quote-unquote death note? Sorry, that was horrible. I apologize. Nothing in the refuse can? We have another quarter. Oh, I didn't want to grab that, but we have a key laying on a small desk. Picked up the alley key. There we go. Let's go ahead and just uh, get out of here, shall we? We're back down this dirty street. What in the world? The note on the wall is unintelligible. Dot to dot. You know what? I feel like that's something we need to look at at some point, so um, let me go ahead and write that down. Okay, I think, yeah, I'm done with uh, the previous note that I've got my notes on. Um, sorry, I've been playing, I got the missed 25th anniversary from their Kickstarter, so I've been playing the daylights out of that. And no, I am not going to be recording that because y'all would be bored out of your skull, so we have plus, plus, colon... 
don't know what the hell that is, so let's go ahead and call that compass. Because there's that cross in the middle. Then we have the circle with uh, Pac-Man. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, then we have a double cross. Um, a diamond. Another double cross. And then a vertical uh, double cross thing. Yeah, we'll definitely have to probably use that at some point. I feel like the developers for this are not doing it to be subtle, like there is a definite puzzle for it. And the time is 3.15. Possibly. Hang on, switch... Oh, wait, the time said 2.30. Use up and down to switch hands, left and right to turn. Okay. Okay, so I saw... No, what? Stop it. Okay, I'm trying to. Hang on, okay. Boom, boom. Oh, there we go. There we go. A small compartment on the cuckoo clock pops open, revealing a scary-looking key. Oh, God. The Lord. Picked up death key. Achievement unlocked, 230. Once again, not too subtle of a puzzle, but, you know, whatever. We'll go with it. This is an indie game, so I'm not going to hold it to the, high, the, the standards of something equivalent to Mist or Zork or any other puzzle game for that matter. But this is interesting so far. In the air of... Use the death key. There's that static again. Maybe it's has something to do with this brown goo... Dead cat lay sprawled... Oh, come on! Not cool. You suddenly feel like you're being watched. Um, there's Dunce Cat Man again. Now let's run. <laughs> What just happened? Um. Okay, loading. Cool. I'm sipping my water while we're doing this. Are we back? Yes, we are. What the hell just happened? It's trippy. It's creepy, but trippy. Back at the hospital. Okay, so Cordova Hospital. Uh, can you go in here first? No, we can't. Several torn hospital gowns inside the trash can. Um, okay, cool. Those are locked. Use the security car. And now we're breaking and entering. Brilliant. We got another phone. Let's go and call home, just to complete the trifecta. If there's anybody there, but you never know. Hey, it's me. Just checking in. You're there already? I thought you just left. Yeah, about eight hours ago. And it seems like it's abandoned. I'm the only one here. Weird. Well, let me know how the search goes. I'm ordering something for dinner and spending the night grading my students' papers. How's Benny? He seems happy. I just took him out for a long walk. I'm sure he appreciated it. Thanks again for watching him in the house for the next few days. I can't pass up this lead. It's no trouble. I owe you after all the times you helped bail my sister out. Good luck. Not gonna lift that Thanks. rock. Not gonna lift that rock. I'm sorry, but Michael's voice it just it detracts from the immersion on this game. Like, I just feel like it's totally out of place. As you step into the dark in the hospital, it chill hits your skin. Okay. Yeah, it's extremely dark in here. Dude, I wish we could have a flashlight. Sort of medical papers, nothing of use here. And another key. No. There we go. Key. Hospital key A. And another quarter. I keep wanting to say quarter. I feel like my former colleagues uh, would giggle or roll their eyes if I start channeling my... An ancient-looking computer sits on the reception desk. You try to power it on, but nothing happens. Um. Well... Since we came in this way, we're going to thesis it this way. I hope you guys can see it, this everything. Just Okay, so this is the B-wing. So maybe... 
painting of a dark figure tending to a group of small creatures. Hey, it's Bigfoot. Alex, where are you at, buddy? So, I'm guessing then we need to go down to the A-Wing first and maybe pick up a key to the B-Wing? The painting depicts a burnt man. The painting depicts a burnt man stares up at firefighters pull, putting out a blaze. Lovely artwork. Oh, we have another save point. Hang on, before we start look, poking open doors, not that there's many here. No, we're still in the B-Wing. I figured this would be an A-Wing of sorts. Photo of several figures carrying a young child. They have strange expressions on their faces. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the Silent Hill or um, maybe even Resident Evil vibe. Some people compare this to PT, and I've seen playthroughs of PT, but never played it myself. We opened it. Yeah, no, we already checked that. I know, I know, shame on me, but I feel like it's been overdone. And I try to play more games that don't seem like a bandwagon thing. I mean, that's why I love indie developers like Kristoff and them. And I'm really hoping Luna Souls comes out soon. Because, or not Luna Souls. Was it Luna Souls? No, that's the name of the developers. Lunacy Saint Road. Derp derp, you twit. There's a large sheet of metal bolted to fencing, preventing you from moving forward. If you had a pair of pliers, you could pry with the bolts. Well, surprise, surprise, I do. Was that a scream, or was that the metal coming away? I'm going to limit say that was the metal disappearing. Okay, now we're just going through lots of metal. Was that really necessary? I feel like that was overkill. Roof A, okay. I kind of... Are we going to get a flashlight or a torch or road flares or anything that's going to help us see that? Several dark figures in the distance. Okay. Well, I can't see squat in any direction, so Theseus it is. What? Okay, we have more doors down here. Okay, cool. Um, before we do that, let's just inspect everything, as always. Make sure we don't miss anything. Lots of creepy paintings. Can't tell what it's supposed to be. Oh, is that an elevator? Man looks at an overturned truck. There seems to be a fungus emerging from the ground. Maybe it's Tiberium from the, um, Tiberian from, Tiberium from the Command and Conquers. Truck barrels towards the viewer. The sky is filled with fog. I wouldn't, I mean, I'm not too... Doesn't work. Well, I guess I know where we're going. Okay. I mean, I know for Unity in particular, and possibly even Unreal, there are assets that can be purchased. I mean, I'm, on, I'm not too familiar with how these engines work. I'm just kind of familiar with the overall design. So, onto the roof we go. The air is steel. Something is rotten nearby. What's with everything being rotten? This area is under construction. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, those are trees on the other side. Okay. We have another phone. Okay, we don't need those. Can we back out? Come on. Nope. I wanna... Nope. Damn it. Can we get our quarterback? Yeah, it's not. That's another quarter wasted. So, lift. Take seat up even further. Okay, that's... You know, let's take a look, I guess. Come on. Get on there. Okay, so we gotta jump onto it. Take the lift. Well, there's nothing else we can do, so let's ride on up. What is that? Okay, it was just a what in the world. Okay, that's just a tarp or something. Got a chair facing the corner. Uh, very Blair Witch-esque. Nothing up there. Anything in... What is this? Okay, we got lockers, all empty. Okay, cool. Um, nope. Huh. What are we supposed to accomplish topside here? Okay, never mind. We got another catwalk of sorts. Maybe we're looking for keys to the uh, B doors, I guess? Whoa. Okay, so there's the ramp. Can we fall down? Yes, we can. Okay. 
roof ladder key. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna give this the wide berth because it looks like that's just a gigantic hole to drop us back down. Back up the ramp. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, shh. And we clip back to the ground. Hooray. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, like I said, I mean, I want to start playing more games other than my usual indie loadout. I've been playing Seasons After Fall for my live stream, but chances are, but, I mean, I don't want to just be doing one particular genre. I want to be able to start covering all genres for my YouTube channel. As well as my, uh, Twitch channel, which you can find at twitch.tv slash boogienet75. But, you know, I love playing horror games, and I love watching horror games and horror movies. Although, thanks to Oren, um, who's another indie, who's another a horror gamer, as well as just a good, a good YouTuber in general. And I'll actually put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. I found out about Falling in Chim, and I've started watching her channel on YouTube. And, you know, I'll put her link to her YouTube description and our YouTube channel. I'll put a link to her YouTube channel in the description below. Her video's been actually really relaxing. Uh, my problem is that I don't play relaxing games. I play either static TVs. I saw a note over here, so we'll worry about that in a hot second. I play puzzle games or platformers or horror games. I need to get into a habit of playing more, more stuff. They keep coming back. The only way to stop them is to burn the bodies. Just don't inhale the fumes. Now I know what not to do. Uh, I like staring at a tarp. The VCR is empty. Not anymore. Someone set up a TV and a television and a VCR here. VHS tape sits on the rusty VCR. Tape one of three. Picked up VHS tape one. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna get sucked in like Videodrome. Whoa! Is that Dunn's cap again? Yikes. Huh. There's an old lamp there, I just noticed. Can we get on the ladder? Okay, let's Okay, let's go back up here for a hot second. I want to I feel like there's something I'm missing. Like was the only purpose of that to um watch the video? And what's going to happen next? Is a key going to appear out of nowhere? Okay. Um Oh. So we're in a com Hey? Oh, we are in a different area. I miss mommy. I hate this place. It's Circle Bro. Everybody's favorite retro video game hero. No, I feel like the main character is Circle Bro because he's got a very broish vibe. Check both lockers, but there's nothing in, in either. We'll go inside you one more second since we're in a different area. Let me go back up this landing really quickly or see what's going on here. Whoa. Okay, so we're on the top floor. What is this? Oh, we have another uh, tape. Tape two of three. I guess we're going back up topside and taking a look. What is that? Okay, I guess they're just bolts holding things together. The atmosphere in this game so far is very hit or miss, in my opinion. I'm hoping it ramps up. 
There are sure to be other tapes. Yes, I know. That's why it says two of three. Death to Videodrome. Long live the new flesh. with the laughing windows. Sorry, there's an old Jala movie, Morgues, and I watched a while ago. next destination is. Well, maybe I played too many horror games in my time, both indie and main, or mainstream. But I feel like there's something lacking here so far. And I'm not trying to throw shade. Tape three of three. Well, I guess I know where we're going now. Back over to the V... Uh, back over there. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, because like, once again, I feel like there's potential here, but I feel like there's just, there's something lacking. I mean, I'm a far cry from a horror gamer like Gab or Craven or CJU, who does quite a bit of those in his gameplay. Oh. But, I don't know. It's not phasing me as much as it should. Maybe that's why it's free. Achievement unlocked. Caught on tape! Die in seven days unless you pass the curse on. Okay, this got very inception y, a tape within a tape. How many levels, Mr. Cobb? Several close brack. Oh! Ho ho! I see where we're going with this. Okay, I'll give you that, that it was a mite creepy. Maybe this game's finally starting to ramp up a little bit. Oh, we have another key. Okay, cool. Hospital key B. Now we can start looking in the hospital rooms. Okay, pokey. So we go here. Um, I know we gotta get back the way we came, but I kinda wanna just look around up top side to see if there's, if there's anything that I missed. Any kind of a... Uh, Anything weird. It's not bad, this game. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm, no. I'm gonna resist the urge to see if we can test the physics going curse splat. Okay, let's just go back the way we came and start exploring the rooms. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, hang on. We gotta go up the... Actually, you know what? Can we just go ahead and just walk? And then take the lift back across? I mean, take the long way home, take the long way home. Prefer to take a load for free. Two different songs, I know. Very similar genres. Alright, get back on, the, back on the lift. Or not. Can we go down? Yes, we can. I know imitation is the best is the fine is one of the best forms of flattery, but there is such a thing as too much of a good thing, and I feel like this game is trying to mirror Silent Hill a little too much, or maybe PT, or a lot of other horror games. 
mean, it's just my thought process, and I feel like, you know, these things... Okay, now we're going to start room combing, as I call it. Nothing behind the mesh. Alright, Harkov, I'll text you in a few seconds, but man, give me a moment. Uh, this is going to be a right proper... Oh, that's a C. Okay, that's a... So we got... I guess we need to find a Charlie key. What the hell was that? Is that the door shutting behind me? Uh, I love how the beds are behind chicken wire. I find that peculiar. Okay, key. What are we looking for in here? I mean, it's here for a reason. Yeah, it's definitely what the devs are trying to do, is that... I feel like. Yeah, you know, I want. I'm waiting for something to happen other than just random cutscenes. Accentuated by a lot of walking. It's... Have we already been in here? Yes, we have. Okay. Let's just keep going down the hall here. Boom. Boom. This is going to be a problem because. I... I've already unlocked these doors, and then yet it's telling me that I still need to unlock them, so... What is that? Herb number two. It's supposed to herb... Maybe the herb number one is somewhere that I... I don't know. There we go. We're going herb hunting now? Maybe those are just collectibles. I don't know. Or health gains? There we go, back to reception. So now we can go back over here and explore the other ones. Oh! Remember when floppy disks actually were floppy? You haven't seen this one in years. Hang on, what did that say? Darkness something or other. Darkness, okay, yeah, I did say that, cool. Well, I already have the floppy disk, brilliant. Wait, it said herb number two, but only... Is it, huh. Maybe that the floppy... Oh, hang on. Herb one. Okay. Now we're back up to snuff. Anything hiding in the encroaching darkness? Guess not. So I'm guessing we need the floppy disk to access the computer. Match it. What the hell? A rat head. Enter the quarter. Maybe that's what we need to use on the dead rat back in the beginning? Patient is suffering from hallucinations, claims a demonic rat is terrorizing him. The patient brought the rat's head to the hospital and warned us not to put it back together. Well, there was, the once again, the disfigured or dismembered rat back in there. So let's go ahead and save really quickly. See if the disc will fire up the old computer. It doesn't look that decrepit. It's not a CRT looking thing. It actually looks. You insert the floppy disk. The computer achievement unlocks straight from the OST. The computer grinds as it reads the floppy disk. You almost think it is frozen until some text pops up. It appears to be a song, and as you listen, you find it the song strangely familiar. Oh, hang on, I'm not done yet. I know, um, when you download this game on Steam, Darkness something or other, you can download the uh, soundtrack as well, so maybe this is something that um, works. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll cross-reference the soundtrack at a later time. We're here to play the game. The only thing I can think of is going back to the rat. But let's go see if we can actually open this one first. No, we can't. Is the rat going to be our secret ending to this game? We've already been here. Okay, yeah, we've already done that part. Okay, so we've exhausted everything. Except to go back to the rat and go to the laughing house. 
which could quite possibly be the next destination. I see no other reason. Put the rat head on the beheaded rat. Achievement unlocked. Unnatural. It darts towards the nearby door. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the door. Whoa, hey, we have a bloodstained trail, or at least a gooey trail. Lovely. The door is it? I guess we were right. Ooh, the echo effect is nice in here. Door handle is broken. Oh, that is a sound he'll throw back. Oh, that's an elevator. Okay, so we're in some sort of apartment complex. Well, I was trying to look at the, uh... I was trying to look at the, uh, thing, the welcome map, but okay. Strange note, one of one. We're trapped. There's no escape. Charlie and the others are on the roof. Something got them. Probably squirmers. Okay. I've tried every avenue of escape, but without the Cordova key, the next area is off-limits. Charlie said he hid the key, but it is nowhere to be found. I can't do this anymore. Strange note, one of one. And we picked up a gas can. And a hospital elevator. Hospital elevator key. What is wrong with me? Um, we have another phone. But we haven't picked up any other phone numbers, so I feel like I'm going to be missing the point of doing that. I don't want to waste another quarter, even though they seem to be in quite the supply. Um, once again, I was trying to look at the welcome mat. So now I need to. I know where we need to go next, but. Wait, so we're in the hospital? Oh, hey, okay, so we're... That was interesting. Okay. Oh, shortcut. Now what am I supposed to do? already done all this. Um, let me go back and look at my inventory really quickly. Oh, we have the gas can. Right. What am I supposed to use the gas can for? It's, oh, it said to burn the bodies. So, do we go back to... And we have the matches. So let's go back to that alley really quick. Actually, no, wait. Let's look at this missing poster. The poster describing a mother and daughter that went missing during an early morning hike. Their clothes were found on a trail, but neither had been seen since. Is this the same thing? The poster describing missing brother and sister. From their small reward. We've got that body on the trail here. We use the gas can and the matches and destroy it that way? Is that going to take care of, um, Dunce Cap? So I don't recall seeing any other bodies. Unless, of course, we have to go back through the hospital and go hunting again. Or... I... Yeah, these are all broken, so using a key doesn't seems counterproductive. Nothing on the chair. I don't know, man. I'm getting kind of bored with this. It's quite the long indie game. I might... I don't know. I put it to y'all. Do you guys... This might be a two-parter to close things out for the indie showcase before going back into it. What do y'all think? Do y'all want to see me continue this? play through this and see what's going on, or do you think a one-off is just good enough? Because honestly, I'm curious to see what's going on. Was there anything on the roof? Let's go look at the roof one more time. Just do a speed run. I don't think there was a body. Do you want to see this as a multi-parter, or do you think we should just call it a day on this? I mean... Yeah, let's take the lift. Let's do... We're going to go ahead and check those roof one more time. And the storyline does proceed. Okay. If it doesn't, we'll just save it and call it a shot. I've been playing for a li little while now. Um, 
and I want to give this game a full through. I might play it off camera, but if y'all want me to continue doing this on camera, turn this into a two-parter or however long it takes, let me know in the comments below. And we'll see what we can do. There's nothing down there. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and walk on the tarp and see if there's anything. It, it won't even let me get on it. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a route that's going to go nowhere. Kind of disappointing, really, but, you know, it could be worse. It could be a GD Nomad game, or it could be Please. Anything in here? I mean, it said it won't open, but you never know. Still nothing there. Was there anything behind the tarp? No, just a note saying with the, instructing us how to burn the bodies. Okay, that takes us back. We're back on the upper level. Can we burn f Circle Bro? Circle Bro! Wait. Where'd the lockers go? Is there anything up here? No, nothing there. Okay. You know what? This is... This has gotten very tedious. Let's just go ahead and drop back down. Go to the save point. And then let me know what y'all think if this should be pursued, as it, like I keep saying. So right now I just feel like I'm on a scavenger hunt. There's stuff on the ground, actually. Nothing. Old cans. Okay. Back down we go. Take the lift. Take the lift way home. We can't skip the cutscenes, even though we've seen this multiple times. You know what? Let's go ahead. No, we can't use the phone anymore. I guess once we've made all three calls, we are, we've exhausted our loadout. One more glance over here. No way, that's just the elevator the way we came in. Herp derp, you twit. And for those that are watching this, if there's anything I miss, like maybe there was a body in one of the rooms that I need to set aflame, let me know. I don't recall such. I feel like I'm just chasing my tail, as it were. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead. I don't think we found a hospital key C, but maybe it's open now. It's all bravo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I think we've exhausted everything. We're just going to do one quick look to see if uh, the Charlie door is open. Bravo. Bravo. Charlie. Okay, that's not. Okay, so I think this is as good of a place to stop as any. So thank you all for watching. As always, my opinion doesn't matter. Yours does, so keep me posted. But with that being said, if you like the Sonic Boogie Project and you want to check out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel. Links to both of those are in the description below as well as a link to my Twitch page, and if you feel like wasting some money without throwing it off a bridge, my Patreon account. But anyways, with that being said, y'all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.